Hello and welcome to VDAV Surfwagon, where we are off to do a photo shoot for a women's clothing brand. I mean, yeah. It's just one of those things where it pops up and, you know, can't you can't you can't think of a good enough reason to say no. <laughs> we are the next hot female models in the we clothing are. industry. Yes. And very exciting. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You think you know fashion, but well, fashion's a stranger. Fashion's your friend, my friend. Fashion is danger. Hello. Hi. So we just got back from our very edgy photo shoot. Profoundly edgy. Um, yeah, I'm sure images have gone up somewhere that you can see. Um, and we're back and we are in our brand new garage space. Which Welcome is to the awesome. new VW Surf Wagon garage, people. How epic is this? So we can work in here, whatever the weather, whatever the temperature. Whatever you know. time of day, it's light. Yeah, it's light. It's, it's beautiful, and we are here to make modifications to Hef, our Mongol rally car. So, what are we doing today, Sam? Uh, we are going to be modifying the roof rack for more storage space. Nice. And if we get round to it, we're going to maybe do some modifications to the rear arches to try and get some more ground clearance and so it's better off-road capabilities in the desert. Nice. Great. Let's get to it, lads. Let's nice. do it. Sweet. Anyway, so they've gone off to get some things that we need, like bolts and rivets and spray paint, because graffiti, yo. <laughs> no, so basically, the yeah, uh, we've got these uh, actually old uh, shelving uprights, and we are going to get all, you know, all these kind of rubbish bits off. We don't want those on there. Old bolts, they can go. It's all shit. So um, that's what we're doing. They've gone off to get the things, and me and George are going to crack on with that. Let's do it. Let's do it. So we're on our way to a shopping trip because we haven't got everything we need. Basically. We're in the mighty Harrison Ford. Of course. We're going to get my toolbox because I've got it. Uh, some nuts and bolts, rivets, sandpaper, and some black paint. What an enjoy us at home base. What an exciting shopping list. Neat. Fifty mil, six, wait. M6, fifty mil, yeah. Oh no, but that's screw. We are now sanding back the girdery things so we can turn them into a roof rack. The Alright, Sam is cutting the uprights, that, no, not the uprights, little angle pieces that we're using for the reef rack. So, uh, take it away, bro.
And go. <laughs> wow. Well, that's much better. That's much better than what Dave's doing. Do you want me to? Uh, I've done it. <laughs> well, I've done it now. <laughs> and that's it. Now these little cheeky back things are kind of in place, which is nice. Cheeky, somewhat rusty, but you know. Just keeping right. the roof like nice and sturdy. So where are we at, David? Give me that. Okay, so basically, as you can see here, we've got this kind of thing in the corner. We've got a little corner bracket assembly type thing going on. And now that means that we can take another piece of this and put it upright, so like this. Ah. And we can screw it into the, bolt it into the respective plates on each side. So it should be quite yeah. reasonably secure and we can always get something afterwards and put a kind of yeah. triangular thing in there to really get it nice and strong Hard. and then we have uprights going the whole end lovely horizontals what you mean? Oh. <laughs> we're all a bit tired <laughs> it's getting late it's like three o'clock guys <laughs> it's actually quarter past four oh my god is it yeah. we better crack on let's go let's go So this is Alex's first time angle grinding. Well, technically second. Have fun, man. I always do. Yeah, okay, so basically, these this is our upright. Goes in a bit like that. Now, all looks fine and dandy, but we're having a small issue in that the kind of top lip of the original roof rack is significantly proud of the girder that we've put in yeah. so basically it's it's kind of pushing this out at an angle so i'm feeling a gentle touch with the hammer will bring it in line that's gentle this way gently it needs to be too far back yeah just over there no right in the corner is where we need it in Stop, stop, stop. Sam's hammering face, he like puts his bottom lip yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, that, that will do. Well, Excellent. Do the, Problem yeah, solved. Do the other side, do the other side, there you go. Just right in the corner, man. I think that'd be it. Yeah, I think we're good. We've got the second upright going in. Yeah. So it slots in like that, and it goes through these holes we've got here. And we put these things on. All these bolts sticking out, it looks like an armoured chariot. After all, what is a rally car if it is not an armored chariot? Wait, Jesus. Too much? <laughs> That'll do. Basically, we've got these two in, nice and tight, and uh, then we'll move to the front and do the same there. Lovely. Let's say goodbye to Alex. Goodbye. Bye, Alex. Before you go, Alex, what was your kind of highlight of working on Hef today? I used an angle grinder for the first time, and it was very fun. So excited about the angle grinder. He loves it. That's so fun. I have to buy one. I have nothing to grind at home. Hey. <laughs> 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 stage now of doing all of the cross, what are they called, cross thingies. I don't know, just kind of the main lengths the that main are actually lengths. making up. So, it's going to look something like that once we've cut here. On all, all the sides, obviously. <clears throat> Brilliant. Yeah, I think it looks quite cool. Definitely like triple the capacity. Yeah. Final push, guys. Final push.
This is the, the final grind, final cut uh, for the rear horizontal bit. Let's do it. It's a momentous occasion. It is indeed. piece of the roof rack is going on. So, final part of the process. Uh, we've got to angle grind all the excess bolts off and then it's done. Apart yeah. from maybe a bit of paint. Lovely. And then it does look a lot like Meccano. Yeah, it's that kind of idea. And then once we've done that, like Sam said, we've done that, then it's just a case of deciding what we want to use to fill in all these gaps and fill in the gaps in the bottom of the roof rack as well. So some sort of wire mesh is what we're thinking at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but we haven't decided what kind and where we'll get it. So that's next. Cool. But let's that's, finish up. That's for another video. But let's just finish this one. Let's just grind the bolts off. Let's go. Let's, 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 go, go, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So that was a pretty productive day in Vidov Surf Wagon Garage. We've, uh, we've, yeah, we've basically got our roof rack. Bas it's not finished. I think it would work like that though. It would work, it's, but it, it's, we just want to, you know, there's a few little things to do. Yeah. But essentially, it's there, it's done, it's unbelievably sturdy. It's nice and sturdy. It's not budging at all, which is... It's, um, it's, it's, it's good to know that it's pleasantly bit, surprised all of us. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to know that the bit we engineered is actually stronger than the original roof rack. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, now I've just got to put some some kind of mesh around it or something to hold everything in place, and then yeah. Yeah. we're done. With the so roof rack anyway, then we're ready to get them on. Yeah. That'll be in the next video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen and you want to see more of this kind of thing, crazy road trips, us subscribe. Bagging, modifying cars. Subscribe right Around in front here. of Sam. Thanks very much for watching. And you can watch another video. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How about yeah. that? Yeah. How about yeah. that? Yeah. All right. Cheers, guys. We'll see you later. Cheers. See you later.